the 49ers made two signings recently. They signed a center slash guard, Weston Richburg. They signed him to a five-year deal worth $47 million. The 49ers also signed a running back from the Vikings, Jarek McKinnon, to a deal worth four a deal for four years worth $30 million. And this these moves shocked some people. They're like, oh, how could you spend that much money? I actually liked it. I, I actually liked both deals. The Jarek McKinnon contract is front-loaded. And look, the 49ers had a ton of cap space. They weren't going to sit on a ton of money. Here's what I like. The 49ers have their quarterback. So if they're going to spend a lot of money, I like them spending money investing in their offensive line. That's great. I would rather them spend money on Weston Richburg than some expensive receiver. Like, look at the Cowboys right now. The Cowboys are crippled by Des Bryant's contract. He makes more money than Le'Veon Bell. If you invest in your, your offensive line, that's good. That's not a bad thing. I like that. You got a starter on the offensive line. And you're showing, you're sending a message. Look, we value the offensive line. We think they are important to us. I think Weston Richburg, he, he's going to play center. They'll probably slide over Daniel Kilgore. It's great. It's a good move. And I don't think people realize how often offensive linemen get hurt and they're shuffled around. This is a good move. People, you can never have too many offensive linemen. That's why Joe Thomas was so, so incredible. He never missed a snap. And when he did, his career was over. I mean, the guy played every down. And that, that is so impressive. That's hard to do. Offensive linemen often are injured, often miss a game here or there. It's rare you find the same offensive line starts all 16 games of an entire season. So I think it's cool. I think they're on the right track. Now, Jarek McKinnon is very interesting. Jarek McKinnon is a running back from the Vikings. He was a third-round pick. And some people felt like he never quite broke out. He never quite reached his potential. Well, you got to remember, first of all, Jarek McKinnon played quarterback in college. He played at Georgia Southern. He was a, a, a Vera quarterback, which means Jarek McKinnon did run most of the time. So he was not, a, he was not playing quarterback the same way Lamar Jackson or uh, Sam Darnold plays. He was running a, a zone read offense, basically running every play. But regardless, I like Jarek McKinnon. And I think Kyle Shanahan saw something in Jarek McKinnon that he liked. And I think he said, hey, John Lynch, go get Jarek McKinnon. Go get this guy for me. I can mold him. I can use him. Look, I don't know what Kyle Shanahan's plan is for Jarek McKinnon, but clearly he saw something he likes. I'm going to trust the great offensive coach. I'm going to trust that he knows what he's doing. I mean, Jarek McKinnon is a great, he's a fantastic receiving back. Go watch his highlights. I did. They're fantastic. And again, he played quarterback in college. That says he could run some pretty fun trick plays. I like Jarek McKinnon. I think he's a good one-two punch with Joe Williams. I think both signings were very smart for the 49ers. I want to give a shout out to David Fusio at NinersNation.com. I don't do any journalism. I just sling my opinions all over the place. Guys like David Fusio, I think I'm saying his name right. I would really be sad if I wasn't. Guys like him, they're the heroes of the world. They're fantastic. They do great journalism. Go read Niners Nation. It's a great website. It's where I get a lot of my information. They are a fantastic website. They're well run. I like them. I'm a fan of them. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help me grow a strong opinion sports, share a link to this on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. If you understand Reddit, I have no idea. If you want to help me grow a strong opinion sports, share this with your friends. And if you really love strong opinion sports, if you love strong opinion sports as much as I do, you can subscribe to Strong Opinion Sports on iTunes, on SoundCloud, on Google Play, and on YouTube. Tell your friends about Strong Opinion Sports and subscribe if you'd like to. Have a great day. Thank you so much.